Hello, Steve here with more mobile internet. Today I'm going to show you the three small cradle point routers and show you the differences between the three. Let's start off with the CTR350. This is of course the first one that came out. It's got a USB port over here and on the other side we have a Ethernet port here and the power here. So simple, small, and easy to use. That's the cradle point CTR350. The next one that came along was the PHS or Personal Hotspot 300. And this one is missing the Ethernet port. There isn't one here, so it's wireless only. Here we've got a USB port, the power and on off switch here. The real selling point of this one, however, is in the back. Behind this panel is a battery. This allows you to use this device with no power for up to two hours at a time very handy. The next one that came along was the CTR 500. This one has a couple of uh, new innovations. One is right here, it's a signal strength meter. That comes in very handy so you can see what kind of uh, power you're getting from the card itself. Now if we look over here we've got the power and Ethernet port so you can have one computer cabled in on off switch for the wireless and then a USB port as well. Over here we have, whoa look at that, it's an express card slot, that's new. Yes indeed, an express card goes right in just like that. So now you've got the option of two different kinds of cards working with this device. Additionally, let's say you want to have a device that works a little bit farther. The range is a little bit more. Well, you can do that with this device. It's got a port here for an external antenna. So if you need more power, you can do that. Now, one other thing that I want to show you is we have an adapter here for express cards that looks like this. What this does is it turns any express card into USB. So now it'll also work with the smaller routers or it'll work directly into a desktop as well. Of course, all these items are available at moremobileinternet.com.